be for Joe Camp, who was based in Dallas with Mulberry Productions. That was my first film. I yes. did that when I was 15. Yeah, a good experience? Uh, it was okay. I had a, you know, it was the first time and everything, so, uh, and I was down, we were down in the south. That was nice, you know, being down in the south. But uh, I guess it was, it was, you know, the first time, so it was, it was, it was a little nerve-wracking. Feeling your way, as it were. Mm -hmm. But now, mm -hmm. but now you're an old pro. This is oh, your gosh. how many how many movies now is this? Films, uh -oh. uh, nine or ten. Eight, I think. Well, that's including TV films that I've done. But I think uh, motion picture release films, uh, eight, eight, eight or nine. In this movie, you have an entirely different look, uh, the bleached hair and everything. Uh, was that your idea to do that? Yeah, I kind of wanted to do that. See, Francis uh, gave me the leeway to try something like that. Uh, I felt right away that Steve should be uh, a much lighter presence in the film than Rusty James or the motorcycle or any of the other kids. And he, and he, and he is that. You know, he, he always was that in the film. Sort of a, uh, a, the hope or uh, he wasn't as hard as the other guys. So uh, that that we we try that right out, right out, right away uh, in rehearsal when we were preparing for the film, uh, we were doing video rehearsals on a blue screen stage, and uh, I said I want to bleach it, and so I bleached it, and we looked at it, and it looked real well. I tried it uh, first. I was like trying dark glasses, and I tried light glasses, and everything just turned out being light. Light everything was light. Yes, you're the good kid. The good kid, yeah. studious. But uh, oh, kind of boring. He's got to be pushed into things, and then he's fun. Yes. Um, the thing, though, about looking different in in many of your roles, you've done other things where you have not looked like Vincent Spano. Uh, is that kind of a risky thing, though, because then people are apt not to recognize you, and is that going to make it harder to get a screen image going for yourself? I don't think so. I don't really think I. I a uh, screen image is sort of what people are telling you what to be, and uh, I think it's best to have a chance to not let people tell you this is the image that you are and this is what we want you to be. And if you get a chance to uh, to try different things, I you know I, I I'll go for it. You know. Is there any particular actor that kind of is in the back of your mind where you think, gee, to be able to do like you know oh, fill a lot in the of blank? Actors, a lot of actors. I'm always. When I see a performance, it just like I just saw the uh, I've never seen Mephisto, but I just saw uh, the new Sean Connery film, and the second uh, the villain is Klaus Maria Brando. Incredible, I mean incredible, and it just it, seeing a good performance is just is just a, an actor who can do things so so easily. That's that impresses me. Um, so and you know there's always the 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 greats who are American greats like Robert Duvall and Robert De Niro and. Dustin Hoffman and Al Pacino, and uh, John Voight and John Cazale, and there's 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 so many. I, I don't ever like to list them because it's you know it's like oh, but I forgot him and I forgot him, like that. But those are good role models, I would oh, say. Oh, I'd say so. I'd say. <laughs> yes. You and Matt have been friends for well since '79 at least, haven't you? Over the edge. '78. '78. Yeah, back in the the Stone Age there. Yeah. Yeah, we we've we've uh, we had uh, we we used to have like little X's in the hallway of the hotel of how many rooms we destroyed. You know, we sort of would our wing of the hotel was like a place you didn't want to be. Basically, it was kind of like I'll pass. You know, I'd rather go to Vietnam. You know what I mean? It was it was pretty sad. Room service trays all over the place. You have to understand that these things are bound to happen when you're sort of uh, just kind of. Learning, you know. You mean you but, just trash up the room? Well, no, 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 absolutely not. I mean, this was this was this was the beginning of uh, of our relationship as friends, and uh, now everything's fine. There's no problem with it with hotels. We we like hotels. Were you ever little, kicked out of a hotel? Oh no, no, no. We just would watch uh, Oakland Raider Denver games and get very upset. You know, that's about <laughs> it. Because it was a very strong. Uh, Rivalry, so we wanted Oakland. They wanted Denver because we were in Denver. So I don't know, this, this is basically these are the things you remember, you know. How do you feel about the Dallas Cowboys? Well, not much, but you know, I don't want to. <laughs> you I know, have I, I know nobody. 
Uh, I'm in trouble now, right, in Dallas. <laughs> but uh, You just wiped out your whole Dallas audience. Watch out for the Jets. <laughs> I mean, no, you have to respect, you have to respect that. I mean, watch out for the Jets. What, if you had to describe Matt to somebody who had never seen him and knew nothing about him, if you had to describe him mm -hmm. in a few short phrases, what would you say about him? Well, short, fat, um, uh, <laughs> describe Matt, uh, you mean as a person? Yeah. He's like, he's my buddy, you know, I don't know, he's, he's my buddy, he's like my best friend, one of my best friends. He's just a person, that's it. Funny, Good guy, serious. everything. Everybody's everything. Yeah. Are you like that? You're everything? Uh, everybody, you know, you, you can't really, you know, if somebody's like boring and they're always boring, then they're boring, I guess. Or if they're always crazy and nuts, then they're always crazy and nuts, but still there's gotta be a few moments when they're serious. So, um, now there's no way to really describe Matt in like a, you know, a package. I, I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I like to. I'm do. I just finished a film called Maria's Lovers, uh, in uh, Pennsylvania, and it stars uh, Nastasha Kinski and John Savage, uh, Keith Carradine and Robert Mitchum, and myself. And uh, it's by a Russian director named Andrei Konchalovsky, and it should be out next year sometime. It's a beautiful film about uh, post World War II and a small Slavic village in Pennsylvania. All right, uh, it's a love story. Uh, do you fall in love with Nastasha? I'm one of the lovers. One. Yeah, it's Maria's lovers. Um, it's, you'll see, the story is basically uh, Savage comes back from the war, and I'm with her at the time, but things, uh, that's when the conflict begins. I'm doing a film right now in New York called Alphabet City, uh, which will be filmed on the Lower East Side of New York, and uh, I'm very excited about it. I really like the script, and a young director uh, named Amos Poe, who, it's his first film, he, he's done underground films here in New York, he's great, and I'm very excited about this film. Well, Vincent, it's too bad you can't find work. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I'm selling pencils on the street. The <laughs> well, I won't interrupt then your, your pencil Defective selling. Defective pencils. Yeah. Hey, it's good to meet you, and I hope I have a chance to see you again, maybe next time. Okay. okay? Nice Thank to you. meet you. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was neat. Okay, okay. I'll get out okay. of your way. Yeah, I have to. Oh, you're going to be wonderful about it. Oops. I did it again. You're going to move the camera. I try to make it easy. Yeah. And I'll cheat just, just a wee bit about to there. That light stand. Yeah, okay. All right. And cut me like about here. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And I'm going to go a little bit more this way right. and you're going to cheat a little bit. Okay. Yeah, because it's different background, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you don't have any. Okay. No. Yeah, okay. All right, tell me when you're ready. Okay, whenever you're ready. Rolling. Whose idea was it to give you an entirely different... Whose idea was it to give you a different look with the bleached hair and everything? Isn't that kind of risky, though, when you look so different in nearly every role you do as far as trying to build a screen image? You have been friends with Matt for some time. What are some of the recollections of the good times you all have had? You mean trash up the room, that sort of thing? Have you ever been thrown out of any hotels? Now, how do you feel about the Dallas Cowboys? You realize, of course, you just wiped out your whole Dallas audience. What other films are you working on or other films you have coming out?
that should do it. Great. Thank you.